The Battle of the Balkans Joanna and I were married December the 28th, 2005 in Newcastle, her hometown, although we lived in Barry. One day in June 2006, I looked at her and said, let's buy a house in Bulgaria. To which she replied, have you lost your marbles? What's Bulgaria? Why? I said, because it's there, in the middle bit. So I decided we would do it. She said, OK, great. So we went and chose a farm type place and bought it. The house, the barns, sheds, land needed total rebuilding, but the foundations and the house was almost livable. Although it looked like an impossible job, the newly married couple were determined. After a while, we decided to start our own business, selling and buying houses for British people for a small fee. It was my idea, but I asked her if she would do the business side because I was now building two houses. It needed a lot of work doing. After four years, my wife said to me, would you sign the houses in her name to save me going with her 40 miles away to the bank every time she needed my signature, which always lost me a day's work. I said, no problem, love. The houses were now in her name only. I know now why. Later that month, all was done, including swimming pool. I was so happy. A few days later in August, my best friend, my brother, died aged 53. I was distraught. Four days after that, my wife all of a sudden told me she had met another man and I was no longer required. My homes were in her name. What could I do? Within four days, I lost my best friend in the world, my wife, stepson, animals, and my fantastic home, which took me four years non-stop work. To leave Bulgaria, she gave me a tiny pink case so as I wouldn't have to pay excess baggage. I came back to Barry. Over the next three months, I was on a mission to kill myself with total alcohol. In November, I was dead, but still breathing. I had one inch of life left when I decided enough and searched for help. I found a hostel for alcoholics and was given two years rehab. Over the next six months, I was housebound when my key worker asked me if I would like to try some voluntary work at St Fagans. I said yes. I was terrified of going out, but made so welcome by all the staff, they made me feel wanted. The volunteers were nice as well. They are my friends now, and I'm alive again. I would say to other people who have given up, find that one inch and try that something else that brings you back to life. Thank you, St Fagans.